multiplying rational expressions. If you guys can multiply fractions, then you should be able to do this pretty easily. And then once we get into division, it should make a lot of sense as well, okay? For example, let's say that P was, I don't know, 2 and Q was 7. If, if we ask you to multiply this by 3, I don't know, fourths, right? Then you would get 2 times 3 over 7 times 4. Not that everyone does this step, which would be 6 28ths, which then you would probably simplify, right? Um, well, it's not going to matter if we have binomials or some kind of polynomials that are being multiplied here. Um, it, the process is still the same, okay? Let's go ahead and simplify this one. It did not ask us to find restrictions on the domain. That's because, well, we got f of x and y, which are, are different, apparently in this case. So, we got the difference of squares in the numerator, meaning that we can split that up into x minus y and x plus y. In the denominator, we got this y minus x stuff, which if we made that y plus negative x, and the only reason I would want to do this is to put the x in the front or to the left as the leading term, which would make that negative x plus y, so I can use the commutative property of addition, but it still doesn't look exactly like either of these two terms in the numerator, right? So what I can do is I can say, I'm gonna factor out a negative one from this, which now makes that x positive, and it makes the y negative. So what this means is that I've got a negative 1 times x minus y. Well, this shows us that the x minus y's cancel out. And then what are we left with? Well, we got the x plus y. And this would be divided by negative 1, which really we can just make this a negative x plus y. If you want to write the answer like this, that's fine. So f of x equals this stuff. If you want to distribute that negative 1 in, to the parentheses, that's fine as well. Negative x minus y. Either one of these will work.